What is going on to all my TV fans out there and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year to every single one of you all. I'm so excited for this new year, but I'm so excited for the new and returning shows that we're getting for this new year. Today, I'm going to be going over my top 10 most anticipated shows of 2023. There's a lot of stuff to look forward to, and I'm so excited to be sharing my list with you all. But before we get into sharing my list, go ahead and start firing away in the comments. What new shows or returning shows are you most excited for? in this new year and let me know if you are excited for this new year and you're excited for these new shows by liking this video sharing this video and let's have a good time so with all that being said i don't have any honorable mentions for this particular list because when i was looking up what new shows are coming out in 2023 a lot of them had tbd and some of them said late 2023 which pretty much translate probably early 2024 so you won't hear some shows like the boys which is one of my favorite shows which is somewhat being slated for next year but it's not guaranteed especially with their new spinoff of generation v so you won't hear some shows because i don't know if they're coming out but i am 100 percent sure that some of these shows i'm gonna be going over will be coming out because they have release dates and they have trailers and then i'm 95 percent on some of them so with all that being said, let's start off with my number 10 most anticipated show coming this new year, and that's season two of HBO's Winning Time which right now is slated to be a summer release date, which makes sense. We have the end of the NBA season with the finals, so maybe around June we could expect this new season, or maybe they'll push it to the fall when we get the beginning of the new season, but whenever the show drops, I'm going to be checking it out. I'm such a big fan of this series. It was one of my favorite shows of last year. I love the Lakers growing up as a kid, still a big fan of them, and I'm very excited for this new season, y'all. If you saw season one, we know how things ended with them getting their first championship, building the dynasty and season two man you can expect to see pat riley in the head coaching position seeing what it looks like with magic johnson getting his first championship seeing him versus berg seeing other the bad boys coming to that generation so i'm very excited to catch up with the team obviously jerry west dr buss Love the show. Can't wait for season two. Let me know if there's any Laker fans out there, any Winning Time fans out there. If you are a fan, go ahead and put your purple and gold hearts in the comments right now. But number 10 is Winning Time season two, which like I said, probably is beginning of the summer, maybe the beginning of the fall, but I'm very excited for that new season. But coming in my number nine is Secret Invasion, slated to come out spring of 2023. And man, based on that first teaser, I am so excited because it gave me those winter soldier vibes, very political thriller vibes. We got Nick Fury, who we really haven't seen since the end of the post credit scene with Spider-Man Far From Home. So excited to see what he's been up to. And of course, bringing in Don Chino as Rhodey. I believe Martin Freeman's in this. And wouldn't be surprised if Valentina's in there. And we got the mother of dragons, Khaleesi, making her return, Amelia Clark, to TV. And the rest of the cast is incredible. But the scrolls, man, infiltrating the government. And I'm just, I will be honest, I'm very excited for the show as it's why it's my number nine. But two things that make me a little bit nervous. Number one, everything I'm hearing about this series is only six episodes, which I don't like the six episode thing that Disney's doing, but hopefully it's six fantastic hour long episodes. And then number two, the scrolls. We're dealing with the scrolls, but we're also we're gonna be in phase five, which we know Kang is the multiversal phase. So scrolls kang what is all that getting to the mix but neither here nor there very excited for it scrolls are infiltrating the government we have nick fury we have his team and i would imagine this probably sets up the marvels armament wars and just kind of building just this tension in the mcu after the snap and coming back from the snap so secret invasion coming in at my number nine Moving on to my number eight, which is honestly a to-be-determined release date, but it's HBO's The White Lotus Season 3. Now, based on, if you all, I did a video for any White Lotus fans out there. I love that show. Covered every season so far, every episode, and I can't wait to cover this new season. But I did a Everything We Know So Far video for Season 3, and based on the math that I did, we can expect season three to maybe come out later this fall. I don't want them to rush it by any means, but I think we can see season three this fall. But whenever it comes out, I cannot wait to see what location Mike White decides to go and tackle with uh, this whole idea of the different themes that we have with sex and money. And I believe he said that this new season is going to be focusing on death. Can't wait to see what he has there. Can't wait to see what new cast he brings to the table because the first two seasons... 
the cast has been absolutely fantastic and any White Lotus fans out there know that at least we, we want one cast member to return, and that's Greg, because I want Greg to get his payback for what happened to Tanya, but I am very excited for this new season. Again, I'm hoping that it comes out later this year because I'm a big fan. I cannot wait to cover that new season for you all. Let me know if there's any White Lotus fans in the comment section, but that is my number eight most anticipated show, season three of The White Lotus, coming to HBO. Moving on to number seven, this is the way. I'm talking about The Mandalorian Season 3, slated to come out March 1st. Now, if you would have told me when the whole Disney acquisition of Lucasfilms, the thing that's going to save this universe is The Mandalorian, I would have said, first off, what the hell is a Mandalorian? But seriously, y'all, this is the most consistent IP in the Star Wars acquisition is it Disney, in my opinion. Andor and The Mandalorian is keeping us afloat because we don't know what movies are coming out. Everything's getting canceled, getting rebooted. I am looking forward to The Acolyte, and we'll see what goes with the Skeleton Crew. But I'm a Star Wars fan, and as a fan, Boba Fett wasn't it. The Obi-Wan Kenobi series was a huge disappointment, but like I said, Andor came back, and I still got to finish that series, by the way, but I've, I've seen my fair share of episodes, I just got to finish it, but Andor's been fantastic, and The Mandalorian Season 3, Bo-Katan versus then going against, you know, The Mandalore, who's going to be the king, can't wait to see that, Grogu and all the supporting cast, and... That trailer, it looks so epic. Go ahead and give Bryce Dallas Howard every single episode to direct because she's just a rock star in that franchise. But John Favreau and Dave Filoni, they're just clicking on another level right now. And like I said, they're keeping the IP of Star Wars afloat. Mandalorian and Andor have that franchise on their shoulders, and I can't wait to see what Season 3 has in store for us all. But The Mandalorian Season 3, your boy is very excited. But speaking of excited, get into my number six. This is my favorite Disney Plus show to date, and we're getting season two. I think you know what I'm talking about. That is low key season two, slated to come out summer of 2023. Like I had said, the first season low key is still my favorite Disney Plus series to date, followed by WandaVision. But so excited to see the ramifications of how season one ended with He Who Remains being killed by Sylvie, messing up the timeline. Kane the Conqueror is now in the MCU and seems to be running the TVA so what does that mean for these characters what's going on with Loki how is he going to warn Morbius and getting into the hunt bee hunter and and everything going on with Renslayer I am so excited to see what's going on and apparently and this is a a potential spoiler the the main villain might be sylvie an older version of herself so we'll see what comes of that i do hope that we get some inkling or some scenes with jonathan major as kang but that score is one of my favorites of phase four i love the performances i love the chemistry between morbius and loki and sylvie and everything going on with the tva so loki season two summer of this year your boy cannot wait. But those are my six through 10. Before we get into my top five, I want to thank you all for watching this video so far. If you're having a good time, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, share this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss out on any of my TV reviews. And of course, if you haven't already, leave your thoughts on your most anticipated shows in the comments below. Before we get into that top five, I want to take the moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, Into the AM. Today's video is sponsored by Into the AM. Into the AM is a clothing company with a variety of amazing products such as t-shirts, hoodies, jackets, shorts and underwear, headwear, and much more. Their t-shirts have unique designs, they're incredibly soft and extremely comfortable, and they're made to last. But the best part is, you can get 10% off by using my discount code MOVIEFILES when you're selecting your new gear, which you can find that code in the description below. Well, shout out to Into the AM who has an amazing sale going on right now. On top of using my discount, get yourself some Into the AM gear. You can use my discount and find that in the description of this very video. Moving into that top five category, starting off with number five, we have Netflix's The Fall of the house of usher which is brought to us by the amazing mike flanagan and is based on short stories by the same name by the great edgar Allan poe we have a lot of the familiar faces that mike likes to work with with this new series on top of carl lumley and mark hamill come on now this cast is great it's Mike Flanagan, it's horror, it's horror at its finest, and I'm going to be honest with you all, I love what Mike Flanagan has been doing with TV, especially with Netflix, and I believe this is his last show on Netflix because he has a deal with Amazon, but right now it seems to be a pattern. For me personally, 
The House, The Haunting on Hill House, one of my favorite horror IPs of all time. See, the, the season of Bly Manor was fine. It was kind of lukewarm. Then he followed that up with the masterpiece of The Midnight Mass. And then The Midnight Club was okay. So right now it seems to be masterpiece, okay, masterpiece, okay. So that means we're in for another masterpiece with this new show. And by everything he's saying, this is the scariest show he's done so far. So I am excited for it. I love the talent. I love the cast. I love this director and the way he handles horror. Oh my goodness. Now, right now, it doesn't have a release date, but I would imagine Mike Flanagan, horror, we can probably expect it sometime in the fall. So I am excited for that show. Let me know if you all are for excited as well in the comments below. Moving into my number four, we have one of my favorite shows of all time. Coming back for season four, I'm talking about Barry season four, which right now is TBD. But as you all can see on the screen, HBO representatives have said back last Last summer that the show will premiere in the time for it to be eligible for the 2023 Emmys, which means we can expect this new season to come around May of this year. Yes, yes, yes. I love Barry so damn much. Again, if you watch my most favorite shows of last year, Barry season three was on that list. I can't wait to see what season four is about. I don't want to spoil anything, but based on how season three ended, yeah, Barry, how are you going to get yourself out of that situation as well as following up with our supporting cast and Bill Hader is directing every single episode of season four. They haven't said that this is the final season because I think that would be part of the promotion. Tune in for the final season of Barry. So I think we're going to have probably one more season after this, but season four coming out in May. Yes, yes, yes. Let me know if you're a Barry fan and if you are, put hashtag Barry free berry <laughs> you know what i mean but moving into my number three we have another hbo series coming out pretty soon and that is january 15th we have the last of us now i am beyond excited for this new series i reached out to hbo about maybe getting the screeners for i can review it for you all and have it ready as soon as the episodes drop but i haven't heard anything back so fingers crossed there but neither here nor there i do plan on watching it and we might do an after show for this series but this comes from one of my favorite video games of all time which is the last of us i never double dip with video games but i bought the ps3 version and the remaster when it came out on PS4. I love this game so much. I love these characters. I'm going to have to I, I don't play video games as much as I used to, so I'm going to probably go on YouTube and kind of watch the, the gameplay or the stories just to kind of refresh myself. I remember the main beats, but I just want to go back and kind of remember the integral things. But even putting that aside, I hope, and from what I've heard so far, we have the same creators from the video game having their input on the show. There's going to be a lot of things that we know is coming from the franchise of the video game, but it's also going to have some new things to make it fresh, make it unique, because of course, they're not going to do a carbon copy of the video game, because what's the surprise is, we're going to know everything's going to happen. So very excited for that show. Love the cast, love the trailer. HBO, they never miss, especially when it comes to something with this type of IP, with this type of story behind it, and these performances, and these talented writers and directors. It's going to be a fantastic show. At least I'm hoping it's going to be, but I have a pretty good feeling inside of me. This will be one of the best shows this year. So let me know if there's any Last of Us fans in the comments, and if you are excited for this show. It's coming out literally in a couple weeks, so... Woo, it's going to be a good time. But now it's time to get into my top two most anticipated shows. And coming in at my number two is slated to come out this spring of 2023. And that is Succession Season 4. Your boy is a big fan of that series. And I cannot wait to see what Kendall... Siobhan and Rome are going to do since they're now kicked out of the kingdom. Season 3 was so fantastic. And Logan working with Alexander Skarsgård character. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to see what they're going to get themselves into. And what are what's going to happen to Kendall? He told his siblings what he did in Season 1. Is there going to be any ramifications there? How will they work for themselves? Them teaming up to take out their dad and trying to win back the company or maybe starting their own company. It's one of the best written shows on TV. It has I can just hear the theme playing as I'm talking right now. It has one of the best themes of any show of all time. Such great writing. Such great performances. I can't believe it's Season 4 already. And, and I don't think this is the last season because like I said with Barry, they would be marketing it as the last season. So I would anticipate there's at least one or two more seasons left in this show i don't want them to overdo it because it's just such a perfect show but i cannot wait for season four coming out right now slated for spring of this year it's going down it's going down ladies and gentlemen but hey getting into my number one most anticipated show of this new year coming to apple tv plus my 
favorite show of last year, spoiler alert, and that was Severance, and we got season two slated to come out, TBD. Now, I am assuming based on, because I've been following a lot of the behind the scenes, we got a bunch of new cast members, they've been shooting for the last few months, this isn't a Marvel show or a Disney Star Wars show that requires a lot of visual effects, I would imagine they're going to probably be wrapping up in the coming weeks, and I would assume they would have this ready for the end of the very similar to Barry before it can qualify for the Emmys probably coming out at the beginning of the summer in the spring beginning of the summer so again don't want to rush it but I would assume it's coming out in a couple of months if not you know like I said May or maybe sometime in June but whenever that show drops man Severance was so great one of the best season finales that I've seen in a very long time. Where do we go? Where do we go with season two after that reveal of them, the their outies waking up in their innies regular life and the new cast members, the goats, what are they actually doing? And just so much to figure out. And without giving too much away, how did that one person's wife come back to life is another thing I'm excited for. And Bird and everything. Ah, I can't wait for season two, man. Season one was great. If you guys haven't seen Severance, what are you doing? Go watch it. It's one of the best shows on TV. And season two, I, I, I think, is going to be maybe even better. We'll see. But again, it's slated to come out sometime later this year. I think it's going to be around summertime. But when it drops, I will be watching it, covering it after shows. Theory videos, you name it. I cannot wait for Severance Season 2. But hey, that is my list. Top 10 most anticipated shows. I've talked enough. It is time for you all to get to talking, get to commenting in the comment section. Let me know what shows you're most excited for. Thank you so much for watching this video. Just a friendly reminder, check out my other list that I have on the channel right now. I'm talking about my top 10 favorite movies of last year, top 10 favorite shows, most anticipated movies of this year, and then I have some other short form content that I have that I'm going to be either shooting now or having out in the coming days. Favorite horror films of last year, favorite comic book projects of last year, uh, worst movies of last year, and most anticipated comic book IPs coming out in this new year. So a lot of content, a lot of top 10 lists coming to you all on the channel now. Check it out if you haven't already. Thank you all for the support. I cannot wait to cover these new shows for you all. Again, breakdown videos, theory videos, after shows, and so much more. And I can't wait to be breaking it all down for you all in this coming year. Thank you for the support. If you all haven't already, just make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any of that new content coming in 2023. You all are awesome. Hope you're staying safe. As you all can see on the screen now, come and join the community. Check out my other top 10 lists that I have so far. Check out my most recent video, and we'll catch you all for the next breakdown.